The overall goal of this procedure is to print a reverse mold to create patterned two-component hydrogels for 3D cell culture. This is accomplished by first printing a reverse mold from a thermoreversible polymer, which is a liquid at 4 degrees Celsius, but a soft gel at room temperature. This reverse mold can later be eluded. The second step is to fill the reverse mold with a biopolymer of choice. Here, we used agarose. The biopolymer can be cross-linked either by enzymatic, UV, or temperature cross-linking. Next, the reverse mold is eluded by submersing the mold in cold water. After this step, the resulting agarose mold is ready for further processing. The final step is to fill the voids with a second biopolymer, which could contain cells and can be cross-linked by means of enzymes, UV light, or temperature. Ultimately, we have established a reproducible method to create spatially organized 3D cell culture scaffolds. We first had the idea for this method when a colleague suggested we could take advantage of the thermoresponsive properties of poloxamer by using it as a sacrificial mold. Demonstrating the procedure will be Misha Müller, a graduate student from my laboratory. To begin, add 60 milliliters of ice-cold PBS solution into a glass bottle and stir vigorously using a magnetic stirrer. Then, weigh out 24.5 grams of poloxamer and add it in small amounts to the cold PBS. Wait until the poloxamer has partially dissolved in the PBS.